This antlion unit presumably digs out chambers for the antlion colony, expanding its reach. For a worker, however, it is surprisingly armed to the teeth, dripping with a greenish, poisonous liquid wherever it goes. Its head is extremely enlarged. This may be a trait that further helps with the digging of tunnels, however, it is also enlarged because the main portion of the toxic acid is located there. This adaptation is quite odd because, as Gordon Freeman's HEV suit tells us, this is a neurotoxin, which means that this species has in fact developed a very dangerous neurological toxin to be stored within its head, and by extension where I assume its brain to be. Now, the antlion worker will spit this neurotoxin at any potential invaders, giving them a nasty surprise. Why the soldiers don't have this trait is a mystery, as it would make sense. However, it is likely because workers, being the expansionists of the colony, are a lot more important to keep alive than soldiers, which I assume can be born en masse, although we never see a queen or king. Additionally, they also use the acid to aid in their expansion of the colony, as it is very corrosive. The antlion worker overall keeps a similar body structure to its brethren, with the odd leg order I mentioned earlier. This will be a recurring theme in the antlion species. The antlion worker also has a noticeable lack of thick exoskeleton, which is probably to reduce the amount of weight and allow for easier flying, as its wings are quite small.